Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Wayne, I'm going to give you a full video walk around of our 2008 Kia Grand Carnival. As you can see the car presents very nicely in metallic navy blue. All across through the front, no major stone chipping on the front bar there or the bonnet. It's actually been very, very well kept. Fog lights down in the bottom of the front bar and you've also got the Xenon headlights as well. A nice bright white light at night. As we come to the driver's side of the car, having a look down the side panels, there are no major dints or ripples. Very, very clean throughout. The car has got the original Kia hubcaps fitted to the steel wheels there, all in excellent condition. Very good tyre on the front there as well. Got a slight mark on the back of the mirror and a couple of small chips just on that front door, but nothing too dramatic for the age and kilometres on the car. As we move around, you'll notice it has already been fitted with tinted windows as well. Overall, down this driver's side, been very well kept with no major damage. Rear hub cap, also in good condition, and another very good tyre on there as well. As we move around the back of the car here, again, you'll notice the rear bar is in excellent condition. No dints or major scratching on the rear tailgate there either. All badges in place where they should be. As we make our way around to the passenger side of the car, again, much the same as the driver's side. Really clean down that side, no dents. There's no major damage around the car at all. It's actually very clean throughout. This is the hubcap that generally gets the worst of the gutter rash, but as you can see, no marks on that one at all. They've definitely taken care while parking. And again, another good tyre on the back as well. Down through the back sliding door, Across the front door again, just a couple of minor chips on the front door there, and nothing too dramatic. And this car has also got registration paid through until the 31st of October 2013. And again, the last of the hubcaps there and the tyre also both very good. Definitely a credit to the previous owner with the way they've kept the car. Moving under the bonnet of the Kia now, first thing you'll notice, very easy latch to find just above the Kia batch and off to the right. And also a very lightweight, easy to open bonnet. Only need to lift it a small amount and the gas struts take it the rest of the way up. Under here you'll find Kia's 3.8 litre V6 engine. Very impressive power, putting out 184 kilowatts. And not compromising on the fuel economy of such a big car. Still rated at only 12.8 litres per 100 k's. Which, like I said, on a car that is this size, that is still very good fuel economy. And with your servicing due every 15,000 k's, it still does make this large vehicle quite economical to own and run. Moving into the back of the Kia Grand Carnival now, you're going to find that the seating arrangement is extremely versatile. As you can see, much like the bonnet, very lightweight tailgate there with the twin gas struts up the back there as well. As you can see, the third row seats do fold completely flat into the back of the car. And to bring these back up, a very, very simple system. You pull this bottom one here, just lifts up, lock that into place. That's it, locked in. Same as this one here. Very easy to get that third row seats up. And also to drop them back down, it's exactly the same. Just drop that front one down, pull this handle, push it down, back into the floor nice and flat. So in a matter of moments, you can have the third row seats up and also straight back down into the floor very easy. And as you can see, that opens up a huge amount of space in behind that second row of seats there as well. Really good stowing system. Sitting inside now, I've got the car running so I can give you a full overview of all the internal features this car has to offer. Starting on the driver's door panel down here, you've got full electrics to all four doors, plus the child lock for the windows and the central locking. You've also got the switches for the far rear windows, which I'll show you in a moment. Switches for your left and right power mirrors up here on the door. Interior door lights are down on the dash behind the steering wheel. You've also got factory fitted cruise control on the steering wheel. Headlights, indicators and fog lights are all on the right hand stalk and on the left hand one here you've got front and rear wiper controls. As you can see, very simple layout on the dash there with the rev taco and the speedo being right in the centre and sitting at just over 147,000 k's. Having a look in the middle here, you've got the clock sitting up the top, you've got Kia's CD player in the centre and then you've got the full air conditioning controls down here in the middle. 
You've got dual zone climate control for the front so you can set one side to warm, the other side to cool. You've got full rear air conditioning controls. If you set this one here to the R, that actually sets it to rear controls. And then also you can control the fan speed and the direction of air in the back of the car right from up the front here. Fan speed for the front of the car, air conditioning and temperature. ESP stability control button. You've got the small storage compartment down behind the gear stick there. Twin power outlets. Do have a factory ashtray in the car as well. It is automatic transmission with the Tiptronic gears off to the left hand side so you can drive it like a manual if you want to and change the gears yourself. Down through the middle you'll find both sides have got the armrest on the driver's seat and the passenger front seat and you've also got a really good sized tray with four cup holders. These cup holders here do slide backwards towards the rear making it good for the people in the back and that can also be dropped down beside opening up some space here for maybe a handbag or something like that. Moving forward into the front of the car, you'll see you've got twin glove boxes, one up the top there, one down the bottom, which has also got extra storage compartments in there as well. For the safety on the car, as I mentioned before, it has got the electronic stability protection, has got ABS brakes, and it's got all your airbags too, one in the steering wheel here, one in the passenger side dash on the other side. You've got one in each of the two front seats, and then you've also got the curtain airbags which start up the very front and run all the way through into the second row there as well, down into the back. Making it a very, very safe family vehicle to be in. Having a look on the roof, in the third row you'll see there are two air conditioning vents up in the roof there, along with their own internal light. Good to have the aircon all the way through to the third row. And as I mentioned before, you do have your air conditioning controls in the back of the car there as well. And as you can see, you can change direction of air very simply, change the temperature and the fan speeds off to the left. Very simple system to use. And as you can see, looking through the rest of the back part of the vehicle, it is all very clean, down through the door panels and on the seats. Thanks very much again for your inquiry on our 2008 Kia Grand Carnival. Just to recap on a couple of key points, does have very good body, it's been well looked after, has got good tyres and long registration as well. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to call us on 9907 555. Thanks again for watching.